Hey everybody and thanks for checking out this video about our sanctuary visual visuals and our screen presentation for the sanctuary. We'll be voting on this at our annual meeting coming up on July 26, 2020. That will largely be held over Zoom but with about 20 spaces here for folks to register for, pre-register for, um, so that hopefully there's availability for all who want to participate in the annual meeting to do so. But we're going to be voting on this uh, proposal for uh, to install monitors, uh, flat panel screens, in our sanctuary. And so in case you missed the forum, the Zoom forum that we held a couple weeks ago, uh, or even if you were part of that and forgot some details, I'm going to walk you through the presentation that we did that night and also tell you the updates we have uh, since that time because I'm going to show you both proposals that we shared at that meeting. But uh, also uh, there was a consensus, uh, almost a unanimous consensus at that meeting to go forward with proposal B. So that's what we'll be putting forward at the annual meeting. So here's some information about what we're looking to do here at Christ Lutheran Church in our sanctuary. So, like I said, uh, we put forth two proposals um, at uh, the meeting, uh, the Zoom meeting we had. Uh, the one on the left, uh, we'll call Proposal A, and the one on the right, Proposal B. The one on the left is a 110-inch screen mounted on a swing arm uh, that would fold away uh, with a projector mounted on the front wall. Uh, proposal um, B, uh, which you see on your screen on the right, is two 85-inch flat panel monitors that are permanently affixed to the front wall of the church. And they're, they're like a TV screen. They don't, so uh, there's no need for uh, a projector for them. And so, uh, so this proposal B was the preferred proposal by, uh, like I said, almost a consensus, uh, almost unanimous consensus group on our Zoom. Uh, which probably included 40 or 50 people. And so uh, that's the proposal we're going to be putting forward. And uh, let's, let's look at some more details uh, of that now. Um, so just always a good idea to go over the goals of the project. So the goals are to share the gospel in a more relevant way. We know that uh, millennials, really Generation uh, X as well, uh, Gen Z for sure, uh, are more engaged visually, uh, and, and all generations include uh, learners who are more visual in nature. Um, and so we have been, I think, missing them in a lot of ways. Uh, we want to, especially in this health climate, be more healthy so that there's no need for handouts. Uh, we know that if we can resume any in-person worship during COVID times, we, we'll, we'll, we won't be using any hymnals or pew Bibles or anything like that. And, and we want to try to get away from any kind of handouts that would involve uh, ways of passing germs that just aren't necessary. And so I'm not promising that because we're going to have these screens installed, we're going to be able to worship in person during COVID. Um, but there's a better chance, I think, of being able to utilize this in our sanctuary. And so be more healthy. Uh, number three, be environmentally conscious. You save trees. All those bulletins we, we would normally print every week uh, can be, that, can, that saves a lot of uh, environmental resources. It also saves a lot of labor. Uh, we're finding during, uh, while we're making these um, PowerPoint presentations for worship during this COVID time, that also takes resources, but um, not as many. And uh, it also uh, makes the sanctuary useful for more things and groups as uh, a, a wide range of people who, who want to rent the sanctuary or use the sanctuary for other events uh, often ask for uh, the ability to make a presentation in there. So what will we use the screens for uh, when we resume in-person worship? Uh, well, we'll use them as we currently kind of use the, you see the words on your screen now during our live streaming worship. So we'll use them for words for worship, for prayers, for readings, for songs. We'll use them for visuals, diagrams, and photos for sermons, maybe video clips at times. Uh, we'll be able to use them for announcements and highlight things much easier uh, in, with pictures and videos. Um, so, like I said, in many ways, similar to how we're using uh, the, um, uh, you see that little box on your screen during worship now, similar to that. So let me go into detail. So this is proposal A, and this is the proposal we're, we're not planning uh, to go with, but we wanted to show you what was on the table. So proposal A included a 110-inch projection screen 
and a projector along the back wall or the front wall, however you want to think about it, the wall that the tapestry's on in front of church. Uh, so the projector would be along that wall and it would be a, it's called a rear projection. Uh, it would be, the screen would be mounted on a, a folding boom and the screen itself would be motorized. So when it wasn't in use, it could be uh, rolled up and then folded along the wall. And so it'd be virtually, uh, you basically wouldn't see it. Uh, the system involves a 55 inch, uh, includes a 55 inch confidence monitor facing worship leaders at floor level uh, in front of the front pew. Uh, let me just talk about that a little bit. I didn't. I only learned what a confidence monitor was a couple months ago, uh, and so uh, chances are you all don't maybe know what that is. Uh, so a confidence monitor is something for those who are leading worship uh, or those in a stage situation, those who are on stage, uh, to be able to know what's on the screen without having to look behind them. So it's because that looks it's after week after week that starts to look kind of hokey to look back and see what's on the screen. And so the worship leader, whether it be the pastor or assisting minister, um, or, or uh, uh, a lector, whoever it is up there, uh, would be able to look at that confidence monitor and know what's on the screen behind them and what the congregation is seeing, which is really beneficial. And so um, that would be mounted on a, a, a low um, a low setting cart and the screen would be tilted a bit. So, and, um, and so that would be sitting in the front. So uh, that it includes that as well. And then it includes all the controllers and everything. Uh, that would be controlled from the sound desk in the back of the sanctuary. Uh, but as we discussed at the, the Zoom forum, we are planning, regardless if this goes through or not, we're pretty sure this will go through. We hope you'll support it. Um, but regardless of that, we are moving that sound desk and all those controls up to the balcony. Uh, the balcony is really underutilized right now, and uh, uh, we're having a, a nice, uh, about a 10-foot uh, sound desk built. Uh, and uh, so it will move all that to the, to the balcony. One of the issues we have right now is that the people who are running sound and uh, eventually video uh, from from the back of the church can't, uh, when people are standing for a hymn or something like that, they aren't able to see the worship leaders and, and know what microphones need to be on. So we're looking to improve that. And then it just gets all, 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 the, that, all that stuff uh, out of the uh, main sanctuary, which is also beneficial, I think. So proposal A uh, would look something like there you see on your screen. Here, I'll make it full screen for you. Um, so I, obviously, uh, the, so the white uh, screen you see there, that would be about what the screen would look like in our current sanctuary. And there would be a, a, a bar above it and some, some bars uh, that the screen would be mounted to. But this is about what it would look like, a good visual representation for you. So, but again, we uh, are not proposing we go forward with this one. I just wanted to show you what was, uh, that we did get through two different proposals and, and there was another option. But the next option, the one we're gonna go with proposal B, really is, I think, a better solution. So this is the proposal we're gonna go with. It involves two 85-inch flat panel LCD monitors. So these are just like a, your TV set at home, probably, uh, except probably bigger. So 85 inches uh, diagonal. Uh, it includes, again, that 55-inch confidence monitor facing worship leaders at floor level in the front of the sanctuary. We will likely remove the front pew and build a, uh, an area around that confidence monitor so it looks uh, uh, built, built in and like it's supposed to be there and it looks finished and um, uh, it'll actually finish off quite well, I think. And uh, that way we can, uh, the rest of that area in the front there can be reserved for handicap seating, as well as that area in the back where we're removing the handicap, uh, or the, um, where we're removing the sound desk. So we're solving a number of, of uh, challenges that we have in our sanctuary uh, with the system at the same time for, for little cost. Um, Again, it would be controlled from the sound desk in the back. That'll be relocated uh, to the balcony. And um, and one of the, the questions that we think we know that these screens will be large enough, 85 inches is pretty big. You'll see that in an upcoming uh, slide, how big that is. But if it's not, we can easily add uh, a couple more flat panels about half or two thirds way to the back of the sanctuary. Uh, that would be more visible to folks in the back. And so, um, it's really customizable. We have the uh, option and ability to add to it at any time. We like the simplicity of the system. And so for a lot of reasons, uh, proposal B was the one to go with. 
Uh, and here you can see uh, a larger image of what it, what it will look like uh, in our sanctuary if it, if it passes. Now you can see the, these would be mounted on sort of a swing arm. Um, the vents that are behind these screens, we thought we'd relocate them upwards um, above the screens, but uh, the HVAC contractor actually said that wasn't necessary. They're gonna uh, put in some different kinds of vents um, and uh, make this make it all work together. And so um, this is about what an 85 inch, what two 85 inch screens will look like. Um, there are two of them because uh, it is, depending on where you sit in the sanctuary, there could be uh, one of the lanterns, one of the lights blocking your view. Uh, it'll help the a band, people in the band area be able to see one of them, I think. And so uh, there was a uh, good reason to go with two screens. And now just to give you an idea of what, uh, what an 85 inch screen, how big that is. So this is the, if you've been in worship any time uh, in the last couple years and you've seen us use a screen, um, you've maybe seen us uh, use this screen on this, this mobile cart. So this is a 60 inch screen that we've used in the sanctuary before. And the feedback we've received is it's too small uh, for people sitting more than, than two thirds of the way back. It's too low, uh, no matter if we have it up on the steps or, or down on the floor level. Uh, and those are the two things. So, so people have a difficult time seeing it. Well, it's only a 60 inch screen. Uh, so to give you an idea, uh, that's 60 inch. And so here, where between uh, the, my thumb and the end of the tape measure, that's 85 inches. So that's how much larger these new um, screens will be. Here's a bigger picture of that. So that's how much larger the, the new 85 inch screens will be. And then if we would have gone with the 110 inch, uh, that would have been that large from my thumb to the end of the tape measure. So 80, 110 inch, even a little larger, but not that much. So there's 85, there's 110. So to go back 60 inch, 85, 110. Um, and then here's the estimated cost. And so, um, so on the left, that's proposal A. So the total cost of that, or the, the, the cost of the system itself was $14,721. Again, we're not, gonna, we're not proposing we go with that one. Uh, proposal B is on the, on the right side of your screen. We are not gonna go with the hydro mounts. So we don't see any reason we would need to raise or lower the screens by a couple feet. Um, we'll just put them where we need them to be and they can stay there. So with the swivel arm mount, this system costs $12,992.79. Um, and, uh, and so that's the cost of the screens, the confidence monitor, the controls, the software, and the wiring uh, these things into place. There are, of course, always additional costs with a project like this. And so uh, total cost with uh, electrical and and other odds and ends. Uh, the motion that we'll be putting forward at the annual meeting is uh, to proceed with proposal B uh, for a cost not to exceed twenty thousand dollars to make sure we have enough to do everything that we need to do to run Ethernet to the the balcony. Um, we need to to prepare so we're able to live stream from there. Uh, so a lot of things will get done in this project. Um, currently we have, the good news is we have about $12,000 already for the project uh, that we've, uh, from Thrive and Choice dollars uh, over the last couple of years, from some uh, donations from members uh, toward this project in the last uh, year, year and a half. And so uh, we invite you to give generously toward this project so we can uh, finish off. We will go forward uh, even uh, as we are right now. Uh, we hope not to... Uh, it, it, it won't go over 20,000 and we're gonna try to do it for um, as close to the, um, the cost of the, the 12 or 13,000 as possible, but we know it'll, it'll be a bit more than that. And so that's, um, I hope that helps. That's, uh, I hope that helps. I, I invite your questions uh, about the system. Uh, if you have more questions about why we need to do this, 
Um, as I said at the Zoom forum, you know, projection technology, uh, large screen projection technology came out in the 1970s. And uh, I've long believed that we have needed that this year at Christ Lutheran Church, I think with, with COVID here uh, uh, now and uh, thinking about living in a post-COVID world after this, I think it has become even more essential for us to get this. So hope you participate in the annual meeting. I hope you find a way to support this project uh, with your vote and with your finances. I invite you to give generously. Thanks for your time. Let me know if you have questions. God bless you.